Hey guys, welcome back to Curious Minds and today do you know why do rainbows appear? Yes. So that's what we are going to talk about. Why do rainbows appear? So now we all know that rainbows appear after it has rained or the sun is shining when it rains. Yes. When there are raindrops in the air during the rain or just after shower and the sun is shining, these are the two important conditions for a rainbow to form. Yes, after it has rains or it rains when the sun is shining, large number of water droplets still float in the air. When the sunlight hits these droplets, it it splits these into seven different colors creating a rainbow. Light has three basic properties. Yes, the first basic property is it moves in a straight line and it turns back when it hits obstacles. This property is called reflection and it bends or changes its direction as it moves from one medium to another. This is called reflection. Yes. For example, when a straw is placed in a glass of water, it appears to be bent or your legs look shorter when you are in a swimming pool. All this happens because light refracts at the border of air and water. A rainbow is also formed due to reflection and refraction of the sunlight as it passes through water drops in the air. This is because speed of light changes at the border border of the light and it makes the light move slower in water as compared to air. Now the colors of rainbow are also due to refraction. But you may ask how it's possible to see many colors. And some of you would say I thought sun was white in color. Sun though is actually white in color. It is actually white is a combination of several colors. Do you know the three basic or primary colors? While painting you must have made different shades by mixing these various colors. Three primary colors of painting are magenta, yellow and cane. When you mix all of them, the resultant of the color is black. Similarly, three primary colors of light are red, blue and green. On mixing, they form the color white. Yes, now you get it. The sunlight is white, white, but it's a mixture of all colors. But what does refraction do with it? Many of you ask. So, have, have you heard about prism? Many would have heard about prism. Yes, a prism is made up of a transparent glass or a plastic light. When it light refracts as it enters the prism and refracts again when it goes out. Yes, as it does so, it splits into several different colors. Each color reflects at a certain different angle creating a spectrum of colors. Now, each color of sunlight has a different frequency. Yes, which is also known as a light vibration or rate of vibration. In sunlight, all colors are in the form of waves called electromagnetic waves. Each color wave, each color wave has particles which vibrate at certain repetitive rate called the frequency. Based on their frequencies, electromagnetic waves are divided into several different categories like X-rays, infrared rays, and etc. The frequency increases in order from red to violet. The colors from violet to red fall in visible light category of the electromagnetic waves because they can be seen by human eyes unlike x-rays or infrared rays which are invisible to us. Violet which vibrates fastest refracts more than red which is why it vibrates the least. Now do you know that why do rainbows are arc shaped? Yes. Once upon a time, all would have seen a round rainbow around the sun on a cloudy day. But that wasn't a rainbow. It was a hollow seven colored rings appeared around the sun due to refraction at the sunlight though the crystals present high up in the clouds. This, there are similar phenomenon. This is a phenomenon which is similar to rainbow. This phenomenon is also known as the broken spectre. When sunlight is irregularly reflected by water drops in a mist or fog and the sun is shining from the back of the observer, a ghostly, a ghostly silhouette is cast in the mist. When we face a rainbow, the sun is usually behind our back. So, the circular arc of the rainbow is right opposite 
to the sun. Broken spectre is actually usually seen by climbers high in the mountains. It consists of long shadow of climbers surrounded by the rings of core by the rings which are known as the glory. Now consider an imaginary cone made with a circular arc as the base of the air axis. The axis of the cone and its slope is 42 degrees. Yes. The other half of the rainbow is not visible because of the presence of the ground. It's just like a huge compass. You point the compass and the high up the sky and draw a circle you open up arms of the compass to 42 degrees. Why 42 degrees you may ask because it is it is in the shape of the rain drops. Yes, this is why they look at 42 degrees Celsius. and the presence of the sun low in the sky yes when sunlight hits a round water drop it gets refracted and then reflects off to reflects back of the drop before refracting again and while leaving the refraction of the back of the drop occurs when a wide range of angles with most intense light leaving the drop at an angle of 42 degrees for illumination to take place at this angle the sun should be at about 42 degrees in the sky rainbows tend to appear in morning or early evening when the sun is low it is if it the sun is higher the angle of reflection is more than 42 degrees top of the rainbow disappears and below the ground So this is how rainbows appear so guys hope you enjoyed this video if you don't forget to hit the like button then only i can see that you enjoyed this video and for more videos don't forget to subscribe to curious minds and if you have any ideas or topics please do suggest in the comment box until a good video this is me curious mind signing off bye